Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you ancient nades that most pros are using and before we start you can uh, take my jump script down in the description and this jump script is both for if you just do normal with one throw but also if you are doing double click throw and uh, this there's some nades I will show later on here on ancient where you need to throw double click and also in general on other maps it's very good to have uh, because there are some nades that are really OP that you can only throw with double click so check that out and you basically just need to paste it in your console and it's working forever so let's get to it uh, the first grenades here uh, you can throw window smokes from spawn there's only six spawns and I I will just show you two window smokes because on my team I'm not really throwing these smokes so I don't need to know all six but here is the two first ones so spawn one uh, and you will understand if you go on a server or anything where you are spawning basically you are just looking at this tiny little crack where there is you know not a leaf and uh, there is some air and uh, you are just doing W and jump throw at the same time just as I showed on the Mirage uh, window smokes uh, it's W and jump throw so that's the first one that's spawn one spawn two which is here you're just aiming at this uh, like yeah you see all these then this one is a little bit more black it's obviously just the first one and then you're doing the same thing W and jump throw and it's going to the window as well and this is very nice if you want to take mid fast to throw the Molotov donut which is nice to take mid when you're smoking window you just go into the waterfall here and then you just aim at this there's two you know one two and then there's this line and you're basically just aiming at the middle here and it's pretty easy and then you just jump throw and it will land here then the cities need to shut it or they just need to go inside donut it's pretty default when you're taking mid in general and also just to faking it the next grenade that is really important from spawn is the cave smoke and you basically just go in front of the rock then you aim at this corner there's like these two you aim at this one not at the corner but a little bit in and then you take a very small step and jump throw and then it goes into cave the last grenade here from spawn that I'm gonna show you is just a Molotov for heaven where you just go in in here you see this leaf sticking out and then you just go into the right and then you basically just run until you get inside the wood or the leaves and then you have Molo heaven and this is like for example if they are run boosting to get the orb up fast or they are just coming here and having mid fast they can't really go up and kill you instantly so it's pretty good to have uh, so let's move on to the b nades here yeah so this corner is you can pretty much use it for all grenades uh, the first one here is just uh, a short smoke smoke which is very easy you just aim in the middle of this uh, line here and it's gonna go to short The second smoke from the same corner is uh, to cave where you just aim yeah one two and at the top one at the right corner and then it's gonna go into cave this smoke is pretty useful for any like b rush or b contact so the cave smoke you can combine with smoking ct deep and you basically just aim at the left corner of the last one here the left top corner and then it goes to CT so it's a pretty easy way to you know you can rush and just drop a smoke to a guy and do these two smokes and run up and the flashes in general that are good is just going at this corner at the box and just aim a bit below here those flashes will uh, land right here so if they're anywhere close or they are holding they will get blind obviously they can be behind this uh so if if you're not rushing you can combine it with a uh, molotov uh, that lands here so you have to get out 
And uh, yeah, the Molotov is just going into this and aiming in between these two leaves. And that's it. Um, the long smoke in general also just to show like if you are doing a delayed B execute it's pretty easy you can just smoke short from here at the top of this one then you can do the molo as I showed before and then you can aim at the flashes right here at this one and uh, if you're doing that then you can smoke long just by uh, I am here because they changed a bit in the new update but just at the bottom of this and uh, then you have a long smoke uh, in general in pro play I would say that a lot of times you can also just use your smoke smoke short by just aiming at the top of this one and just run it will smoke and another smoke if you for example are two cave and one uh, you have the smokes here you can do that smoke and then just aim at this white and you will smoke long as well and this way you can just get out so you don't always need to stand outside B to do it uh, other grenades uh, a lot of teams are going up and doing this molotov take cave control really fast and it's pretty good but obviously CTs can also throw a lot of utility to screw you so you need to kind of switch it up a lot and uh, change up how you are taking it for Gwindo you can just go into this uh, yeah you see and then aim at the corner of these two and just take a take a step and jump through and then it lands inside the window uh, another way that most pros are using right now to retake mid is just aiming at the shadow here and jump run one step and jump through then you have the molo here then you can just throw a bounce flash or flash over here and clear this part then when you get to this you can smoke window just by going into this and uh, to the left of this leaf and then you have smoke window and in general in this point uh, it's really good to do this molotov to clear donut make sure no one is hiding and then I really a, a split is pretty easy to do and uh, yeah one of the good smokes here is just going into this having a guy do this smoke at the top of this line and then just flash over two times while three guys are running out and the smoke obviously blocks from ct and uh, yeah this corner is pretty pretty bad he can't see much and you will see him a lot so and then you can just clear everything uh, another smoke you can use is going into this aim at this there's a black line here and you just aim at this and jump through the smoke lands here and that way you can like split a from ct or you can even fake the smoke and go b or do the smoke and go donut instead so the ct guy is like looking at at ct and not on a um some a smokes here in general uh yeah this smoke for donuts just at the left side of this and uh you see this this have a bit of orange color on the on the stone and you basically just go under and aim at the not at the line here but just a bit under and then there's a donut smoke without any gaps and i saw a lot of teams are throwing or some teams are throwing donut smoke with gap where you can actually or some people where you can actually see left side here uh, a fast CT smoke for example if you want to rush A it's just going in here and aiming at this and just jump throw and W at the same time then you get a CT smoke so they cannot get any help here uh the one thing the key thing with this one once you get this area you just need to be ready that uh, they can sit left side but the good thing about this when you know it it's very easy to pre-fire and it's your advantage in general when going a here obviously if you think there's an orb temple you can always just flash the angle 
other flash flashes that are good is just flashing behind Xbox and Molotoving side. Like this is key utility. I think like smoke donut is key as well. And obviously you need to decide are you doing like a contact or are you doing like heavy execute with smokes and so on. Because a lot of times it can be really good to just surprise people uh, there and not show that you are coming uh, with a big execute. And uh, yeah, obviously with this long smoke, I just want to say that you can molo ninja just by aiming at this, at the top of this. And uh, then you have, yeah, the two smokes and the molo and it's pretty comfortable to get in. Um... Yeah, I think that's it for the T side nades. Like this is the most common nades that most teams are using and that you can use for your advantage. Other than that, I want to show you some just some CT nades. And this is where you need to use the double click uh, that I have in the description. That is really good for all maps, for all grenades. Sometimes it can be that you need to do a flashbang instant with double click uh, on some maps and so on. So it's really nice to have. Uh, but basically, on the CT here, it's very nice. Just aim at the top of the blue. And once you get past this, you just jump throw. Then you have a Molotov here. So if they want to go fast cave, they have to shut it and use a smoke. And then you know that they are coming. And you can combine this with a nade where you just stand at the corner of the blue. And aim at the bottom of this. Then it comes right in their face. So if they are running... Without shooting the Molo, they maybe have like 10 HP or something. Um, yeah, and some uh, some instant flash is just uh, going at this and aiming at the bottom here. And then you have an instant flash to banana. And uh, this is very nice if you are coming here. You can smoke, you can Molo and get this flash and then... Your teammate can also flash behind and you can basically get down and kill them. Uh, but yeah, the smoke is this leaf. So you're just letting go already when you're coming here. You just aim at the bottom of the leaf. Then you aim at this white stone. And you, when you come here, you just do one uh, shift, you know. So it bounces here else it would go down in the smoke then you get the flash and you can go down obviously some a lot of t's are mulling here so you maybe have to have a teammate smoking it or you just sometimes you look through the molo and catch someone off guard um yeah and a flash for your teammate if your teammate is going out cave it can be very nice to flash here so basically every all t's are blind here and they get screwed uh, and yeah, nades on mid. I'm playing cave myself, so uh, I don't know too much. But uh, obviously, like the normal thing is to do molo. You just aim at the right wall here, and uh, it will land here, so they can stand and hold you. And the second molo is just doing a molo over this wall. It's pretty easy, and I guess most people watching this video knows this stuff. Uh, Obviously, if the T's like to shot the deep molo to try and get a peek here, then you can just do the smoke deep by aiming at the, nearly the top of this line. And then you can do Molotov, Nate, they're going out. And you have it. Uh, yeah, and obviously you can always, if people are taking fast mid, you can right click a smoke. This one was obviously too deep, but you can use any one-way smoke to your advantage. Even this one, if it goes too, uh, too deep, you can still use it. But I think it's probably better to get it like around here, so you can use it behind. Um, and on A, I actually don't have much to say uh, about grenades in general. Um, but... I think that was it for my ancient video here. I hope you liked it. I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like the video to help me grow the channel uh, and make more videos. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching.